Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Playing by the Pound. This time we're checking out another one of Hopful's Flash Collection stuff. The last one I have for this little collection of games from him. This is an interactive known as Orca Goes Into T-Rex. Very straightforward name. <laughs> this is a pretty simple interactive, pretty old, but Hopful has always done great animation work, so they're still very much worth checking out. I may not check out interactives all the time, but they're fun to check out now and then. Uh, there's not much to it, but I put some music on. Let's enjoy this. Uh, of course, before I begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. I'm trying to reach your partner over here, but we need more viewers to do that. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so, because it does really help out. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content, and I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. Links are in the description. Check them out if you feel like it. That being said, let's go ahead here. So. Much like the other interactive animation that Hoffle made that I checked out, there is a life meter, an oxygen meter, and a happy or loyalty meter. Um, so let's just mess around a bit. So we could do fish. So let's do fish. Let us let us let us go fish. My mouse is very leggy. I just noticed. Oh well, whatever. Fish. If I put the fish in my mouth. Not enough trust. He does not trust taking the fish from my tongue. This is a loyalty program. You must give fish. <laughs> Raise loyalty by giving fish. Makes sense. Loyalty is at max, so now I can... Was it a mouth? And he's like, hop! <laughs> that fish was that fur that fish is very valuable to the orca. <laughs> Even if it's sliding down a T-Rex's skull in the process. Swallow. The image here changes as well. Yeah, you know, just spin him back up if we want. <laughs> and swallow again. And let back up. Release. Back in it to win it. We can also squeeze, which is nice. Mid mid swallow squeezing. It does uh, drain health, though, as you might imagine. It can also stomach, of course. Very good. Throw up also just reverses the animation, more or less. Nothing too fancy there. And we can squeeze. And sleep. Look at that! Look at that heckin' belly. And look, look at that heckin' belly moving around too. Does it get more active the more I sit here? Kind of seems like it does. It's a good animation. And of course, we can squeeze. We can also wake up. And then sleep some more. Gurgle. <laughs> Slight belly decrease. Uh, I, like the, I like the little fish bone status here. Let's start over. What if we digest when in a different state? Let's see what happens then. Like, instead of sleepy, what if digestion happens in a different animation state? Not sure if it'll change anything. Maybe I'll just go and sleep anyways, but... Let's just hold in the throat for a while and squeeze until we win, I guess, effectively. See where this ends up. Let's 
Smee's graphic, I think, changes over time, too. Fish bones. Ah, it does force a swallow. Ah, okay, so there is a non-sleep animation. Let's return him to our belly without sleeping and digest from there. Let's see, what kind of movement is there when he's just in the belly like this? Because when we're sleeping, he does a lot of wriggles. <laughs> okay, kind of chill movement. Oh, well, nope, nope. If you wait long enough, there is some additional movement. Oh, okay. So it's kind of a game of patience, then. You have to let the animation play out. So does that also apply to, like, the throat, if I let it sit in the throat? Yeah, there is a little bit of wriggle in there, too. Very good. What about here? Is there anything here? So basically there's some additional animation frames you can miss by moving too quickly through the options. Alright, let's just squeeze. Let's see how the belly size changes from pre- and post gurgles here. Huh, theoretically it should be it should be the gurgles, but it's not for some reason. There it is. <laughs> Very good. One more time, I'm just going to get into the sleepy state, because that's my favorite one. I wanted to collaborate with Hopful at some point. There we go. But I think that's about it for now. This was Orca Goes to the T-Rex. A nice little interactive, I would say. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs>